Shelby, Florida, home tanks for Shot Rod's Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. If you're watching today's presentation on YouTube, check out our website, hangsters.com. There is where you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos never come down. They stay on our channel at all times for our subscriber to watch. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, it comes down off of our website, letting you know that particular unit has been sold and is no longer available. Hankstersgarage.com. Not only do we sell and distribute automotive parts and accessories throughout the United States, but we also, more importantly, install them. So, if you're looking at one of our classic cars, maybe you want AC added, power disc brakes, power steering, maybe you want a different interior, maybe you want an upgraded dash package, we can do all that stuff for you prior to your vehicle leaving our facility. Hankstersgarage.com. Check it out awesome car to present to you today. <clears throat> um, this car has some uh, originality to it and what I mean by that is we got the original core support in the car, you got the fender tag, it is the numbers matching 383 motor, um, so the car has a lot of uh, going for it. On top of the fact that it is a 1970 Plymouth Cuda. So, let's check it out. I already stated the numbers uh, do match on this 383 that is underneath the hood. We will have a photo of that on our website for you, and we'll also show it to you in our undercarriage presentation. I did also mention it does have the fender tag. We will have a photo of that on our website so that you can break that down. The uh, brake booster up there in the uh, front where the uh, firewall is on the driver's side, power brakes on the car. Right here on the uh, driver's side of the car, front of the block, you have your power steering reservoir for power steering. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, on a Mopar product, we have a stamping number here between the radiator, well, it's on the core support, but it's on the face of the core support. Uh, it's stamped with the partial bin of the car. This one does match, so it is the original core support in the car, which tells you, number one, the car was never in a front end collision. Number two, that the... Uh, car wasn't a rust bucket that the core support rotted out of and had to be replaced so red nice paint on the car uh, overall you know driver quality paint job but uh, nothing really uh, severe going on with the paint on this car first of all uh, there is a little chip there on the driver's side front of the uh, nose um, the rest of the hood top of the fenders look to be in pretty good shape your hood scoops, paint's nice, no blistering, cracking, fading, fish eyes, anything like that going on. Uh, the uh, top of the fender on the passenger side, driver's side, both in really nice shape. No spider webbing, no paint debris, anything like that. Uh, check out the grill of the car. Uh, it is gray, uh, Plymouth designation there on the driver's side. Black inserts, uh, gray encompassing the headlights and the uh, black uh, grill inserts. Uh, front bumper on the car is in great shape, um, no uh, chrome peel, no uh, flaking, no uh, rust bubbles in the uh, chrome. Same thing going on with the lower valance, lower valance is in good condition as well. Let's check out the uh, passenger side front fender. Uh, Barracuda, this is a Grand Coupe, so uh, Barracuda Grand Coupe there on the driver side front fender. Uh, raised white letter Cooper Cobras. Uh, beauty rings look to be in good shape on the wheels as well as the wheels themselves. Lug nuts all look to be in good condition. You have your chrome wheel opening molding there on the driver's side. That's in good shape. The uh, <clears throat> paint, you know, where your paint problems are going to be are usually generally down low on the car. Uh, where the car obviously through the years has been uh, close to the road, road debris, uh, you know, but... Uh, paint good on the uh, bottom of the fender on this car. Same thing with the bottom of the door and rocker we'll show you here in just a few moments. Uh, is a BP VIN code. Um, so we'll have a photo of the VIN on the, uh, on the website. The front windshield's in excellent condition uh, from the glass clarity to the uh, chrome that's uh, installed around the front windshield to, uh, you know, nothing's cracked, nothing's chipped. Uh, you can see the dash pad through the uh, front windshield there. Uh, driver's side and passenger side both look good. I don't see anything that's cracked uh, or torn up, So, uh, but we'll, we'll take a closer look at that when we're on the test drive. The uh, <coughs> car does have a mirror here on the driver's side door. 
Uh, paint quality on the car. Uh, well, let's go first to the door fitment. Door fitment's good here um, to the front fender, to the rear quarter. There is a couple chips right there on the corner of the uh, front fender where the uh, door meets, you know, could have been bumped or rubbed at one time. Uh, door gap's good in the front and in the back on the car at this time. Check the uh, lower portion of the uh, driver door out there. Um, nothing's uh, cracked or blistered or bubbling. Take a look inside the car. First, let's start with the door panel. Um, you can see uh, the door panel is uh, plastic all around here. It uh, does have uh, vinyl armrest. There's your uh, classic Mopar Cuda lock uh, mechanism there. Crank windows. Uh, door pull, everything's in good shape. Do have a wood grain insert that's going to be on both the driver and passenger side door and also on the rear door panels uh, of, the, of the vehicle. <clears throat> Check out the rear seats. So the vinyl is in good condition. Uh, your hat rack, speaker rack area up there is in good shape as well. I mentioned the wood grain that uh, flows into the front door on the passenger side and on the driver's side. Both, uh, all the wood grain in the car is in pretty, pretty good shape. Uh, floor mats in the vehicle are brand new. Uh, carpeting in the uh, car is brand new. The carpeting that was uh, in here was faded. So we put brand new carpeting in it and a set of brand new floor mats. So you got all brand new stuff there. Uh, interior's in good shape, both front and rear. Uh, so the driver's seat, you can see nothing's ripped, torn, worn out. Driver's seat has real nice cushion. Center console's in pretty good shape. You can see it's an automatic car. Steering wheel's in pretty good shape. We'll show you that closer on the test drive. Uh, Cuda floor mat. Show you the uh, carpeting underneath here. It's brand new. I'm telling you, it, nobody's even been in the car yet except to pull it around from detail to... Uh, Stage it in the showroom here for photos. Uh, headliners in nice condition as well. You can't really see uh, that uh, inside here. So uh, we'll show you that on the test drive as well. Do we have an issue with the vinyl top? No. So up top here, um, real nice and uh, flat, uniform, uh, no buckled. Uh, or rust bubbles, anything like that. Um, we'll check our pro problematic areas in that. Those are in front of the front windshield, which I'll show you here in just a couple minutes. Uh, drop downs to the rear quarters. Nice and flat there. Behind the rear window. Once again, in nice condition. While you're there, check out the glass clarity of the rear window. It's in real nice shape. Before we continue on to the back of the car, let's check low on the rear quarter. We'll get a look behind the uh, rear wheel tires here. Nothing on the rear quarter in terms of bubbles, blisters, cracks, spider webs, anything going on there. It's a pretty, pretty nice quarter on the car. Um, we'll give you a shot here down the side of the vehicle so you can see the body lines. Deck lid fitment fits nicely to the rear quarters, and then uh, your gaps are, are pretty pretty good as well. You know they're not perfect, but they are good. Uh, Barracuda designation there on the uh, rear valance. You got your grand coupe. We got our keys stuck in there, so the uh, keyhole is open right now. It's got one of those key, hidden keyholes. Uh, chrome on the rear bumper looks to be in good condition. Lower valance on the rear looks good. You have duals coming out the. Uh, rear of the vehicle there. Take a look in the trunk. Uh, so, a couple things. First of all, you'll notice no jack, no spare. You will notice a brand new trunk mat because there wasn't one in there, so we bought a new one for it. Um, the trunk itself, give you a shot of that, is in real nice shape, nice and solid. Now, you'll see an envelope laying there, which will come with the car. Uh, we went through it. I'm not going to bore you. There's some miscellaneous receipts in there. Nothing uh, extensive as far as, you know, when the car was painted, 
uh, when the motor was rebuilt, anything like that. There is this magazine uh, that will come with the car where the car was featured in the magazine. Uh, just tells a little story about how one of the gentlemen uh, through the timeline that had purchased it uh, found the car driving by. It's a little short little story, but uh, pretty cool. You know, everybody always likes a uh, conversation piece, and anytime a car you <coughs> owned or bought is in a magazine, it's kind of a cool thing. A lot of, a lot of classic cars out there, so when you have a uh, recognition in a magazine publication, I guess it's something to talk about. Passenger side of the car, so uh, take a, a good look there. Um, rear quarters, once again, nice and solid. Also, uh, no, uh, no issues with the paint. Vinyl top, same way on the passenger side as it was on the driver's side. You can see there's no issues there, neither low, high, up top. Your drip rail molding that encompasses the uh, passenger side rear quarter window and then the door uh, glass there in nice condition. Uh, check out your door fitment there, down low to the rocker, to the front fender. Everything looks to uh, line up pretty nicely. Check out our uh, passenger side of the car here. So you have your uh, Grand Coupe in the door. Once again, the wood grain insert. Uh, door panels in pretty nice condition. You can see nothing on the door panels cracked. Armrest isn't torn. Passenger side seat, same condition as the driver's side. It looks like a newer interior. I already told you we put new carpet and floor mats in it. It looks like uh, somebody had recently maybe uh, redone uh, the seats. Those look to be newer to me. I don't have any record of when they were done how much they cost, who did it, anything like that. <clears throat> Barracuda on the passenger side front fender, once again your Grand Sport logo, or I'm sorry, your Grand Coupe logo. Front wheel on the passenger side of the car looks to be in good shape. I stated uh, we do have up close photos. I don't really get down too low there when it comes to the wheels and tires. So, you know, make sure there's no curb rash, make sure there's no pitting of the chrome. Uh, you can blow our still photos up nice and large so that you can take a close look at those. Um, lastly, before we conclude our video presentation here, uh, let's check out above the front windshield. You can see that the uh, vinyl top, once again, installed nicely and in good condition. No rusting going on underneath there. No kind of uh, bubbles or blisters in the top. The top's laid nicely throughout the entire car from the roof to the quarters, uh, down the A-pillars. 1970, numbers matching 383 Plymouth Cuda. Everything we're doing in this video presentation, you can do in person when you visit our Daytona Beach showroom, which is what I encourage you to do. The cars we sell are 30, 40, 50 years old. They all have little flaws, deficiencies, tendencies, uh, some of which uh, may be more concerning for one buyer than another. I think this is a pretty cool car. Great color, uh, good interior combination, a uh, little story to go with it, original core support, does have a fender tag, numbers matching motor, you know, so the car has a lot going for it. Um, you know, but. I do this every day. I buy and sell a lot of cars, so when I see a, a car that I like, uh, there's usually a reason behind it. Now, uh, maybe this is your first classic car purchase, or maybe you haven't owned one of these uh, vehicles since the late 70s, early 80s, or maybe you've always won on one, whatever your circumstance is. Um, we encourage you guys to visit us in person. Come on into our showroom. You can check out this 70 Cuda. We have about 70 cars on hand right now for uh, for you guys to look at. You can view our entire inventory of cool classic collector cars. Um, you can meet us face to face. We'll talk about you know how to store the car, what type of gas to use, what type of oil to use, uh, some of the uh, responsibilities that come with owning one of these classic vehicles. We'll show you the vehicle in its entirety. We'll let you look at it in the sunshine real good. We'll put it up in the air for you so you can check out the undercarriage. We'll let you drive it. You can see how the motor performs, the transmission shifts, the car rides, the car handles, the car brakes, you know, that, all that stuff. Everything we're going to do in this video. 
We do a lot of sight unseen business. In fact, that's how the majority of our business is conducted. We are an internet-based platform. So between Daytona and our showroom up in Pennsylvania, we do a lot of sight unseen business. We make a lot of people happy. We deliver a lot of cars month after month. But if you are a more particular or specific buyer, um, and like I said, maybe you've never owned a classic car, maybe it's been 10 years since you have, uh, definitely come in person and check out the car for yourself so you're not just taking our word for it. Let's take the car outside, we'll put it up in the air, and we'll check out the undercarriage real quick, and then we'll take it on a uh, little test drive here in Daytona Beach, 1970 Plymouth Barracuda Grand Coupe. Underneath our 70 Cuda, we have disc brakes up front. Told you in the showroom it's a numbers matching car, so it's pretty dark up here. So here's where your partial bin is going to be. You're not going to be able to see it in this video presentation. It's too dark. So uh, we will have a photo of it on our website. Same thing with the date code. The date code is 814 of uh, 69. So uh, we will have that up there as well. Neither one you can see. I can barely see it, and I'm standing on, right directly underneath the car. So uh, frame rails on the car look fantastic, both driver's side and passenger side. Let's take a look at the tranny pan real fast. Um, it is nice and dry. The cross member that supports the transmission up is uh, in good shape. The only holes that are there are the ones that are supposed to be there, so that's a good thing. Floor pans. <laughs> so the floor pans on the car look pretty good um, from what I can tell. Uh, they're one solid piece going all the way back. I don't see anything sectioned or siliconed. They look pretty good. Same thing with the uh, tunnel where the drive shaft's at. Uh, the exhaust system, you have exhaust manifolds on the driver's side and the passenger side. And then, of course, we roll down to uh, your exhaust pipes, which have pretty good welds on them. Looks like the beads are pretty nice. Uh, let's see if we, we have no name brand on the mufflers, so uh, they're just mufflers. So, uh, drum brakes in the rear. Gas tank looks to be in pretty good shape. So going up over the rear end, let's take a look at two things. Let's take a look at the exhaust pipes. They are uh, bent correctly, and then of course there's no uh, rust holes, rot holes in those, and then the frame rails on the car look to be in good shape, uh, driver and passenger side. Uh, tires, tire condition's good. Uh, you see there's no uh, dry rot between the treads here. And then of course your uh, wear bars there. Uh, there's plenty of tread on the uh, tires before it gets down to the uh, wear bars. The date code on the tires is 2018, by the way. 1970 Cuda. Awesome car. Car that's going to generate a lot of activity on our website, I'm sure of it, and a car that's uh, probably will sell pretty quick. We're going to set it down and we're going to take it on a test drive. Before we do that, we're just going to discuss the ways to pay for this car. First of all, if you're a cash buyer, um, we do accept cashier's check from your bank. More common form of payment is bank wire transfer, whether you're coming in person or whether you are uh, wiring from a distance. Uh, you know, Bank wires put the funds there the same day generally if they're done early enough in the day. Um, that means we can start preparing the vehicle for shipment that much sooner. Our vehicles are put through inspection, put through detail, get dispatched in the order that they're funded. So the sooner we're paid, the sooner we, you get your car. Financing. The collector car lenders we work with not only will do up to a 15-year loan on these cars, they will also fund us generally the same day. It depends on how fast you are with your paperwork, getting loan docs signed, getting insurance in place, things like that. But typically, uh, the faster you work with your paperwork, the faster we get funded. Normal uh, funding is within 48 hours. However, sometimes it could be done the same day, so it'd be like same as cash. Uh, once we are paid, we put the vehicle through an inspection. Uh, this inspection includes checking over uh, headlights, brake lights, taillights, reverse lights, torquing the lug nuts, checking the tire pressure, checking all the fluids. Old cars, things happen, you know, uh, radiator hose less loose, uh, the, we lose the brake lights, uh, high beams, you know, one of the high beams is out, whatever the case may be. So we give it one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility to make sure the car is good to go prior to heading to you. Once the guys green light it, 
we put it through detail and then the carrier is dispatched for pickup if we are the ones handling the shipping. Typically we can have a carrier here within 48 hours, sometimes it's a little longer if you're in a more rural or remote destination or you're on the west coast where they only do so many runs a week. Uh, but I promise you we do work quickly doing this 20 plus years, we have it down to a science. The uh, procedure is, or the system is, uh, funding, inspection, detail, dispatch, loaded, on its way to you. Then delivery time, of course, is going to be, you know, how many other vehicles are on board, where you're located at in the United States, what is the weather like, uh, you know, when is the last time the driver slept, uh, you know, is there a holiday that falls in there, things like that. But the whole process works a lot sooner than you might think it does, or a lot quicker than you might think it does. <laughs> the whole process works a lot quicker than you might think. Uh, we really have, like I said, down to a science. And um, the vehicle sitting in your driveway, sitting in your garage, or your place of business a lot sooner than you might think. Once we're funded, we work quickly. Let's set our 70 CUDA down on the ground. We'll take it on a test drive. It's a beautiful day here in Daytona. We'll uh, see how the car runs. Okay, inside our 70 CUDA, horn, uh, wipers, uh, turn signal, driver's side, passenger side, uh, fuel gauge does work, we're a little low so I'm going to stop and put some in it, temp gauge, we'll uh, see if that comes up during the test drive. Alternator gauge functioning. Uh, center console's in good shape. Got your little uh, accent piece here in your headliner. That's in good condition. Uh, headliner does have a tiny bit of a sag on this side, uh, but no rips, no tears. It is a vinyl headliner. Uh, 32,430 is the mileage on the odometer. The title reads exempt. So uh, we do not know the true mileage, and once again, I do not have any record of the restoration, rebuild, paint, anything like that. Let's take it on drive, see how the car runs out. Inside our Cuda Grand Coupe, uh, first of all, speedo's functioning. It's not bouncing around, holding steady. Fuel gauge, I put 20 bucks in it. Temp gauge is coming up. Car tracks nice and straight going down the road. Steering is nice and tight. Car has good acceleration. Rides real nice and smooth. There's uh, no kind of tire vibration, engine vibration, tranny vibration, nothing whatsoever. Steering wheel's not shaking all around. Car has a real nice smooth ride to it. Uh, just a couple moments here, we will show you the brakes and then we will uh, running through a couple gears here as we make the uh, right hand turn. Car stops really nice. There's no uh, pulling one side to the other. There's no uh, vibration out of the uh, brakes whatsoever. We'll get it through a couple gears here. Notice how we're idling. Real nice and steady. Uh, no uh, bucking, spitting, sputtering, stalling. No crazy RPM fluctuation. Okay, we're running through a couple gears. Training shift's awesome. That's 70. I'm going to shut it down there. As you can see, I caught up to the vehicle in front of me rather quick. So 60 miles an hour, no hands on the wheel. Car tracks straight. Once again, you know, 55 miles an hour. There's no front end shimmy. There's no uh, tire shake, vibration. Really nice, uh, really nice car. 1970 Plymouth. Cuda Grand Coupe, numbers matching motor, power steering, power brakes, real nice ride, everything's working like it should, speedo works, fuel gauge works, temp gauge works, our temp's nice and low, hasn't even reached the halfway point yet, 
car stops nicely. Look at that. Awesome. I like it. Mopar products go fast. Chargers, Cudas, Challengers, Roadrunners, GTXs. We are fortunate to have this 1970 Cuda in the right color. Numbers matching motor, original core support. Good stuff. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Once again, notice how nicely we're idling. Hangsters.com is our website. That's where you can find all the photos of this car today, along with this video presentation we have doing for you right now. At full retail price, the 70 Cuda includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. The powertrain warranty is good at any ASC certified facility in the United States, covers engine, tranny, rear end. Doesn't cover oil leaks, brakes, batteries, starters, alternators. All that stuff is on you. It does cover major mechanical breakdowns of your powertrain. You don't have to bring it back to Hangsters, to Florida, to a special uh, classic car dealership, muscle car restoration center. Probably take it to the same person that's working on your daily driver. You just can't take it to Bob's backyard garage. The price of the car is somewhat negotiable. However, we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. Warranty is good at full retail price only, no exceptions. Also, the shipping comes off. At full retail price, we ship the car for you. We arrange the pickup. We pay the carrier. We arrange the delivery. At a negotiated cost, you will do all that yourself. You can make the choice whether you want to ship it open or enclosed. You can pay the driver when they get there with the car. We can put you on to a broker who can facilitate the shipping for you, but we will not handle it ourselves at a negotiated cost, price, whatever you want to call it. If you are a muscle car, collector car enthusiast, and you have your own opener and closed trailer, you want to come trailer this car home, you can do that as well. And then if you're local to us here in Central Florida and you want to come drive the vehicle home, you can do that also. We would love to earn your business, add you to our growing customer base, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the entire world. Hangsters Hot Rods does export these classics as well. Hangsters Hot Rods, hangsters.com, check us out.